Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077. Today, starting on the pause screen, because as you may remember, last episode after we finished our conversation with Songbird, something was about to happen down on the main floor. And obviously I didn't want to miss it, but I also wanted to end the episode, so I just went to the pause menu. And as it turns out, I couldn't actually make like a manual save after that because, you know, something was happening that prevented me from making a save. But luckily there was an autosave like right after the end of the conversation, after Songbird left. So that's where we're going to resume and I hope that whatever is supposed to happen is still going to happen. But yeah, let's just go and check it out. And yeah, I have to take the shot. Um, let's maybe wait until... Okay, yeah, something is happening indeed. Incredible! Just dazzling! Some kind of performance. I mean, yeah, that is actually pretty impressive. If I you should watch it from up here or maybe go down and watch it from up close next to the stage. Oh well look at that. <laughs> Is that a bear or a wolf? Did the wolf bear just get a brain? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure this is pretty neat to watch from down there as well. It's a different experience, but I think I'm going to stay here. That way I can see like the whole scope of it. Spider's going to take her. Lots of dangerous animals in this animation. Use the brain trick again. Okay, she managed to break free. That's a pretty cool effect as well. Like she's falling really fast. Okay, it looks like she's going back into the ground now, so... <laughs> Guess the performance is over. Okay, that was pretty neat. I liked it. And so did everyone else. Okay, now let's take the shot. And Bravo! Bravo! And the lights are back on. 
And now I have to join Reed at the bar. Okay. And I guess we will tell him about the songbird's plan that we're supposed to <laughs> execute for her. Also, give me another drink. Don't mind if I do. That glass was empty. A pleasant evening to you. That glass was totally empty. I have been scammed. Maybe people realize that I've been drinking too much and now they just give me empty glasses. Then again, I don't think the people around here care, to be honest, if someone drinks a little bit too much. Um, okay, Reed, where are you? You're not where you used to be. Would you care for a drink? Uh, yeah, but I just had one, so maybe I shouldn't overdo it. All right, well, there he is. So is Johnny. Seems your special agent has special needs. Trying to drown his sins and sorrows. What do you mean, my special agent? Also, why should I care? <laughs> Maybe he just likes to drink. You know, I like to drink. I've had a lot of drinks this night, and I'm as cheerful as ever. <laughs> Maybe he just wants to be like the embodied stereotype of some broody male anti-hero, you know? Who knows? Don't judge him, Johnny. But okay, let's go and talk to him. Talk to Songbird via the relic. We can communicate again. Hmm. All good there, Reed? Yeah. I just need to process for a minute. It's just how I'm built. Okay. A little adversity and I need a few moments to think. Come up with anything? Yeah. We now know who took a swipe of Myers's head. Really? Hanson? Songbird? Who'd that be? I mean, Hanson is the obvious choice, right? Interesting, though, that they give me the option... We don't songbird. have all day. Why would we suspect Songbird? Hmm. I mean, I guess you could say it's a little bit um, convenient <laughs> that her plane just happens to crash in the one place that has, like, some weird, mysterious technology that could save her life. I guess it is kind of suspicious. Hello, Earth to V? Thinking Songbird planned the whole thing. You're thinking right. I don't know about you, but I see coincidences as patterns. Okay. Structures we have yet to recognize. Huh. What you driving at? SF-1 crashes. Not anywhere, but over specific turf. Mm -hmm. Controlled by someone who found some obscure forgotten tech right. in a secret bunker. Right. Crash was an inside job. We suspected that from the get-go. Now we know it was. And we know it was Songbird. She was behind it. Okay, but do you have any other evidence? I mean, like I said, it is kind of suspicious. Weird coincidence. But it still could be a coincidence. So I think I would like to see a bit more solid proof that she was behind it. Any thoughts? And it took you just one drink to cobble that together? Started seeing the pieces falling into place up on the mezzanine. So Omi told her she's dying. Things follow from that. She made a deal with Hanson earlier. Had to. Before any of this went down. Traded the president's life for access to the tech. Okay, but I mean, the president is still alive. So she won't get the tech since she didn't keep her side of the deal. High treason, no matter how you cut it. Don't know, Song contacted me with a view to rescuing Myers. I mean, she certainly did, and she did help us when we tried to she escape. She just had enough. Making some serious accusations here. Yeah, do you have any other proof other than, like, the coincidence and, you know, that she has a reason to do it? Motive is probably not enough. The NUS press sold to a crime lord. Huge. If true. Myers pressured Somi to reach further, breach boundaries, and then Somi snapped. Hmm. Um, but yeah, she did certainly try to rescue Maya and not to just hand her over to Hansen, if that was her deal. <sighs> Don't know about that. Song recruited me specifically to pull Myers out of that wreck. I seriously doubt she wanted her dead or snatched by Hansen. It's never that simple for <laughs> me. Yeah, I mean, if that was the deal, why recruit As me? As I see it, 
Somi was playing both sides, simultaneously spinning deals with Hansen and you. Okay, but why? She has Hansen set. Then you come in. She contacts you via the relic, asks you to rescue the president. Absolution for her right there. You need to cure just as much, guaranteeing you'll help if her plan falls through. And here we are. <laughs> yeah, and here we are, rushing to Songbird's rescue. Thinking a few steps ahead was always her strength. But judgment calls and situational assessment, her Achilles heel. As a chess master, she'd be famous for dazzling plays and excruciatingly beautiful defeats. Okay, so basically you're saying she had this brilliant plan to make a deal with Hansen by delivering Myers to him, but then she kind of sabotaged herself by contacting me to rescue Myers, which would ruin the deal with Hansen because she's just bad at making judgments. What do you think? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, there's some stuff suspicious here, but at the moment I'm not sure what to believe. Sheesh, don't know what to believe just yet. That's not surprising. But I know Somi well enough to know she'll do her damnedest to be fair. So, gonna rescue a traitor? How are you feeling about this? Yeah, you still wanna go through with this plan? So, what are you thinking about all this? I'm not convinced Somi's to blame for everything. In this trade, nothing's ever as it seems. You gotta keep asking questions till you get to the bottom of it. That's experience talking. Main thing now is to get her out of this cesspool of a sitch. Then we'll see which direction to take. Need to be careful, agreed. I'm not sure I get you, Reed. Here to get my due, what I was promised. Yeah, I mean, what I was promised is apparently some obscure technology that no one really knows about. So, are we actually sure this exists or is working? Um, maybe I should get my hopes up what here. What you think? Um, either way, I guess we need to be careful. Right. Still should watch her every move closely. Sure. Unconditional trust? No more. Out the window. Right. Back to the sitch at hand. What do we have to do to save her? To grab the tech Songbird and I both need, we gotta go to a meet with Hansen. Prep for it's required. Because we show up as a pair of runners. Need to collect their identities first, whatever that means. Personality imprint theft. Sounds like our Colombian job of mm -hmm. yore. Who are they and where do we find them? Okay, first tell me more about this personality imprint theft. So how's one go about it? Club in someone's personality? FIA Menanthropic Tech. Alex has access. You seem to use it already. Right. You look, sound, and act like the individual whose personality you assume. Okay. To do it, we need scans of our targets. All right. Well, um, apparently our targets are red-headed twins. Song got this shard to me. Take a look. Our targets are a brother and sister red-haired twins. They're here somewhere, <laughs> schmoozing. Amrick, Kessel, mm -hmm. and Aurora. Okay, we Kessel. need to pull data. Get samples of assorted behavior. We make contact with them, talk, scan as we talk. Got it. I think. So, time to make our move? Over there. Okay. Trace them in no time. Yeah, that was quick. Wow. Trace them to flash, Reed. Noticed them some time ago. They stand out even in this mountain pot. Huh. Okay. Seems like they're playing roulette. Twin roulette, looks like. <laughs> Alex, you copy that? Radio loud and clear. Prep and scan tech now. You're new to this, but relax. We'll do it as a four-hander. I scan one, you handle the other. Alex will pilot us through. Okay. V, zipping funds your way from our operating budget. Load up on chips and join their game. Just don't go all in from the get-go. <sighs> we stagger our approach, and we're strangers. Okay, well, uh, let's get to it, I suppose. Let's get to this. Struck gold with roulette, really. Gambling throws people around, high and low, brings the joy of winning and the despair of defeat. Perfect for our purposes. Okay, I'm still not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do here, but let's find out. First of all, I need to buy some casino chips, apparently. Let's do it. 
But yeah, this whole situation with Songbird is weird. But at the moment, greetings, madam. Not much I can do about it. Let's just uh, go on with the plan for now. Want to buy some chips? Of course. Good luck at the tables. Um. Okay. I need to buy at least eighty thousand, but I can buy a hundred. I guess it doesn't hurt to have some spares, right? Let's just get them all. And that's all. V, important. You're not there to have fun. What? Simple bets. Red or black only. None of the double street or basket bullshit. Understood? Understood. Boo. Need an array of emotions, to have fun. so provoke. But subtly so. Or they'll clam up. Scan will be a bust. I'm totally here to have fun. But okay. I'll try to restrain myself. Wait until round is over to join the game. Maybe we can watch it. Will you join us? Huh. Amrick Cassell. No affiliation. Occupation accountant. Affiliation World Set Comnet. Twenty four. Place of residence Ethan. Amsterdam Black. Benelux. Summary no criminal record visiting Net City on business. And Aurora Place Cassell. Please. Occupation real estate agent. Affiliation Eurobank. Place of residence, Brussels, Benelux. A summary, no criminal record visiting Night City for tourist purposes. Okay. And okay, I'm going to join. Betting on red, feeling lucky about black. Betting's open? By all means. Black it is then. Relax. Buy him drinks, break the ice. I'll join you momentarily. Okay. All bets are in. Bidding is closed. What? No introduction? V. You? <laughs> Aurore Cassel. And that boar is my brother, Emmerich. All right. Um, let's get some drinks going. What's your poison? My treat. A bourbon for me. Alas, mon frère does not drink. You heard the lady. And real water for the gentleman here. And what'll you have? Um... I guess I'll take a gin and tonic. G and tea, please. Gin tonic. Be right back. Your drinks will be here shortly. One. Odd. Red. Hey, merde! Well, I guess I lost my chips as well. <laughs> Place your bets, please. But I mean, most of them Astrid. weren't even mine. Let's go, let's go. Red. V. Can't get a hold of Reed. No idea where he is. Uh-oh. Stall for time, okay? Hmm, I just realized. Uh, you must have dirt beneath your fingernails too. Like all these bastards and bitches. What do you mean? That is, unless you're uh, in tourist. Like the no-lifers who must watch others live to feel anything. Provocative, this one. <laughs> Tourist, that's me. Conscience ain't spotless, that's sure. Guess. Let's be just... vague. You got me. No-lifer, tourist, whatever your preference. <laughs> You're just teasing. Eight. Even. Black. Damn, oh, I lost yes. again. <laughs> Fucking done here! Duh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry Place for your, your loss. Please. All right. Seems I interrupted something just now. Didn't mean to break your flow. Can't help feeling I uh, interrupted something when I walked up. Do not worry yourself about this. Huh? Oh, come, come. V is just being cordial. Yes, exactly. Why are you getting so close, lady? <laughs> Miss Pavi, you weren't snooping just now, Three. were you? Even Why would you think that? Still no sign from so Reed, V. Gotta sink and fill in about this. Place your bets, please. Alex, I think the lady is flirting with me. Eight's what do I do? Magic number, so gonna go with eight. Sure wasn't snooping. No, just being plain courteous. Oh, 
don't be such a bore. <laughs> I simply don't like bores. Of course you were snooping, as we are simply too interesting to ignore. Alright, maybe I should just flatter them a little Listen, bit. Listen, Reed's MIA for now, can't wait for him. Gotta do both scans on your own. What does that mean? Okay. Uh, we were discussing local politics, uh, specifically our host, Monsieur Kurt Hansen. Big fish selling big guns for big money. Yet here you have uh, celebrities, politicians, even the chief of police. I so noticed. So I was thinking, uh, perhaps Hansen would do better by being a veritable businessman, <laughs> no? I claim he would. Mon cher frère disagrees. Okay. 33. Odd. Black. Ugh. Guess it's not my lucky day. Place your bets, please. Alright, uh, let's go with black again. Black's my lucky color. Who is color. Kurt Hansen really? A crucial question. Hmm. Psychoanalyst, hobby of yours. carefully with that duo, V. Man security criminal, ain't no upstanding citizen, that's sure businessman through and through. What do you think? Will you tell? Oh, he's a businessman, I'm sure. Hansen's a suit without a suit, if you catch my drift. Oh my fucking god, you Americans. You used to have more imagination. <laughs> Tossing you around, V, don't let her. Level the field. Dumb question, dumb answer. How about you tell us what's bouncing around your nogging? Yeah, kind of a dumb question. Ask a gonk question, get a gonk answer. Deservedly, I'd say. <laughs> Touché. <laughs> Empty banter aside, a stupid man the colonel is not. He should um, diversify revenues and assets. 33. Odd. Black. There we go. I finally won something. Okay. Scan is progressing well with her. Still zero percent of I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> charming little show you're putting on. <gasps> you see, Emric, we are charming. <laughs> I mean, Hansen could take Dog down by the throat, eject the junkies, and make it a paradise for billionaires. Just getting rich is dull. You should work for the community. <laughs> Invest, create jobs, throw banquettes. I She's agree. getting chatty. Doing good, V. Okay. And charities are excellent washing machines. You launder billions, believe me. Twelve. Even. Red. Yeah, I think she likes takes it a little bit more controversial. He doesn't seem to care about Place anything. Your bets, please. And you're so childish, it's beautiful. What? <laughs> and soon going missionary position in business? Nonsense. <sighs> Reed's still not responding. But you keep working it. All Let's right. go. Swap twins. Um, sister's right. It makes more sense for him to retire, not go legit, naive and short sighted your approach. Owning Dogtown's one hell of a bargaining tool. That's true. Man basically owns Dogtown. Could use that as leverage. And who would Hansen be? The mayor? Please. He is very good at what he does. A professional criminal. Soldier yesterday, crime lord today. Why not biz shark tomorrow? Yet he is a businessman. And to make it legal, <laughs> it is a lot of work to do for a simple change of label. Good. Little worms opening up. Seventeen. Odd. Black. Yeah, I think he likes more level-headed takes. And she likes the outrageous Place takes. Your bets, please. <laughs> That's at least my reading here. Can't tell you got something on the tip of your tongue. Guessing you got no respect for upright, honest peeps. Let's pick this one. Care to expand? Floor's yours. Allow me to say, V. Arms or property, it would make no difference to me what I sell. And to spend five years on efforts to uh, change how people see you, hmm. call you. To be upstanding in the eyes of others. I could not give a shit. <laughs> Fair point. 23. Odd. Red. Ah, damn. I should have bet on red. Place your 
Place your bets, please. Getting there. Almost got it. Right. Give me something big now. Make him laugh or cry. I don't <laughs> care. Um, please place your bet. Have a taste for risk. Like the tingle of risk? Oh, my vieille t'as pas d'idée. Thinking we can add a little spice to our game. I'm listening. My, my, I too am curious. Well, then it's all or nothing, huh? How about we go all in? Bet everything we won tonight. <gasps> and we play different colors, yes? You win or we do. And either you or we lose all. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> A moment. You join the table, buy drinks, talk and talk. Now you wish to risk everything? I find this disquieting. Really? Perhaps you could now tell us about yourself. This is a roulette table. Tread That's what we lightly. do here. Hmm. Let's be honest. Name's V. Afterlife affiliated. Make what you will of it. Oh, are you happy now? You choose first then. <laughs> well, black's my lucky color. Black's my choice. Uh, we are red. As our hair. A luscious color. Perfect fit. I think I bet more than you did, though. <laughs> so I stand to lose more. Allez, 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 allez! Can't actually see the wheel from here. Fake. Even black. Putain there merde! There we go. <laughs> that certainly got a reaction out of them. Ooh, ooh, look who's here. Leave us for a moment, if you please. Uh oh. Uh oh. Congratulations to you. Thank you. That was a fun game. I know your friend Reed is FIA. He's not my friend. My natural assumption is <laughs> you're an agent too. Well, your assumption is wrong. I'm also guessing you two took it upon yourselves to save the president, then exfil her out of Dogtown. I should send you back to Night <laughs> City in body bags, filled with pieces. But... Don't scare that easily. I mean, I guess technically I am a temporary agent because I accepted the task, but I didn't take the oath. You trying to scare me? Dunno. Are you afraid? We're just talking, aren't we? Well, you're not going to kill me here in the middle of your party, and if your men are trying to drag me away, they might be in for a surprise. Um, yep, you won't. You're not about to kill us. Got it right? To be honest, I got tired of the media circus. All the allegations thrown in my face. Yeah. The bullshit propaganda. Luckily, we can put all that behind us now. Well, I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> Brave face you're putting on. Always willing to help. What else you gotta say? <laughs> yeah, always willing to help. Always willing to help? Don't you worry. Got your back, Colonel. I will let you and Reed walk free of this place, in one piece, mm. on your own two feet. Consider it a gesture of my goodwill. I mean, it's kind of interesting. Your little bird came to me on her own, though. She was tired of breaking international laws on the president's whim. She simply had to run away. Breaching the black wall? Jeopardizing the net, all humankind's safety, in fact, for personal gain? I wonder what Netwatch would say. Pass it on to President Myers. Also tell her, her toy of mass destruction is my friend now. And she should get the fuck out of my backyard, or the world will learn about her games. Interesting. I've matters to attend to. You'll find Mr. Reed downstairs. Okay, V. Got all we need. All right. Have you heard what he said? Sheesh. Colossal prick. <laughs> Hear what he said? Yeah, caught it all. Didn't like it one bit, either. Hmm. Son of a bitch that I'd find Reed downstairs. Yeah, heard him. Wasn't crazy about his tone. I guess we will find out. Time to evac, V. Best not tempt the fates. Head to the elevator, ride down to one. 
need to know what's up with Saul. Right. Cash out your winnings, optional, leave the black sapphire through the lobby. I mean, he basically confirmed what we suspected, that, you know, Songbird planned all of this, but he gave a different motive. It wasn't about some technology, but just like moral um, objections to what President Myers was doing. Also, he kind of gave a different motivation for why he was helping. He wasn't trying to kill Myers. Having Songbird alone is enough for him. So it's a little bit of a different angle. And obviously, you know, it's not that he's like very trustworthy. So we shouldn't take his word on this, obviously. But yeah, let's maybe cash out the winnings. I suppose I have to do this over here. And I will get back more than I paid. And I mean, 80,000 wasn't even my money. Do I get to keep that? <laughs> that would be nice. But yeah, um, I guess it's time for us to go. You're going to eat something, Lizzie. Oh. No buts. You can't run on empty forever. <laughs> Let it go, Avi. I'm a firecracker on an empty stomach. You know that. <laughs> and the night is young. I just don't want you to pass out. Just tell me where we're off to after we're done here. Right, we AV out to the island, we'll hop onto a plane and fly out over the Pacific. The Pacific? Not a terribly precise destination. <laughs> to a private aircraft carrying yacht, with its own tracking system. So we'll be flying full autopilot. Ah, adventure, yes! Hope you're as excited as I am. Well, you two get along pretty well, but yeah, um, we have met her before, Lizzie Wizzy. Hey there, Lizzie. Fee, what are you doing here? Could legitimately ask you the same. <laughs> yeah, I might be a little out of place, but I get around. Easily. And Dogtown, well, it always gets my blood coursing. Fortunately, I have darling Avi here. <laughs> Avi's my new bodyguard. The best I've ever had, if a little too overprotective. Pleasure, Avi. Yeah, you two seem to get along uh, pretty well. Um, I'm happy for you, I guess. I uh, love your style, really interesting. Leaving already, next release in the works. Uh, yeah, sure, love your style. Headset's Nova, Lizzie. <laughs> Like it? Here, it's yours then. Oh, for real? Sure, got loads of them. But she doesn't have a headset You'll look on. Like you're on Team Wiz Wiz. It's liable to take you places. I want you to have it. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'll take your non-existent headset. Whatever. Oh, this is the one that we're talking about. Okay, I'll take it. Wow. Thanks, Lizzie. <laughs> So, um, next release in the works? Next release? Planned? Maybe in the works already? Kinda. For now, though, I'm obsessed with galaxies, nebulae, <laughs> and sea turtles. Uh, uh-huh. Care to elaborate? <laughs> v, with that you know more than my producer. Patience, please. You'll just have to wait. I mean, those are all great things to be obsessed with. <laughs> Um, well, I'm leaving already because I have to meet with uh, Reed. Looking like you're about to delta out of here. Making my exit soon, yeah. But from one party on to another, a chum of mine from Legos is throwing one on his yacht. Friends, fireworks, diving, a private fashion show. Hmm, shame. Some R&R &R out on the water would do you good. But I'm sure you're like super busy. <laughs> I am. Plus, knowing him, there's gonna be drama, so I'm totally sparing you. All right. Totally. Thanks. Um. So, doing all right, all in order. Yeah. I mean, our last um, meeting was a bit uh, weird. Hey, how are you holding up? Last time we saw each other was, you know. I'm doing great. Really inspired. Mm -hmm. Never felt better. Yeah. Never felt better. Hope it's 
stays that way. Enjoy your evening, Lizzie. Take care, V. And you keep skating <laughs> along that edge. So fun. I will keep skating along that edge, right. I'll be ready to bug out of here in five. Up to you, though. Oh, it's up to me? Come on. Don't act like you enjoy the jawing of these podium pounders and career criminals. <laughs> yeah. Thought as much. In that case, I'm gonna hollow the landing pad. Unless there's anyone else you want to talk to. Well, I was hoping to have a word with Kurt about that. Ooh. Other biz. Ooh. I can talk to him for you. No, don't bother. Another time, I suppose. What other biz? You know, biz? you shouldn't be talking to him at all. That man means danger, even for Lizzie Wizzy. You know my thoughts on this. All too well. <laughs> that mean you'll listen? <laughs> Avi, please. I mean, I would like to know more about that business that you have with Kurt Hansen. Also, I think I just realized that performance uh, we saw at the beginning of the episode. That was Lizzie Wizzy, right? I mean, she looked very much like her, so I guess... He was actually here to perform but okay um i guess we are going to leave now or uh, should i maybe check out this place again if something has changed more people have appeared but it honestly doesn't look that way so maybe i shouldn't keep read waiting for much longer let's just delta as v would say what a headdress are you one of the dancers? Oh, right. Um, I, I got that headdress. I want to have a look at it. Oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, that is something. But again, I don't really like all these headsets because they mess up her hairstyle. And I feel that her hair is very um, iconic, if you will. <laughs> so I will probably remove that headset eventually. But sure, for now, let's yeah, just keep it. Invitation now. Um, sure. Is everything in order? No need to worry. Routine verification. Please enjoy your evening. All right. These people seem a little bit late. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Actually, the laundry room area, I think someone was there. But earlier. Huh. Come on, show me where. Let's just get out of here before people get too suspicious. Thinking about what that prick said. Any USA's in trouble, Songbird is Hanson's bargaining chip. Well, that much is certain. Songbird's a walking, talking WMD. And Hanson's got her on a tight leash. And he can prime her for use whenever he wants. Listen, V, we need to get her out. For everyone's sake. And yeah, the NUSA's in trouble, I suppose. Guy knows. Got some dirt on Myers. Can't imagine it happening. But if the public learns the NUS president willingly broke international laws governing cyberspace use, the NUSA's fucked. Is that really a big Myers deal? Myers will either have to take the fall, let herself be buried in dirt for this. They're just going to deny or it, she'll right? she'll defy the world and spark another war. Fuck me. Oh, just once I'd like to see things go smoothly, as planned. This feels so very, very wrong. So what are we going to do about it? You and your chum best be headed the fuck out now. Right. Straight on from here. Gonna walk you two out. Come on, V. No reason to hang. Um, okay. Let's just get going. I'm going. I'm going. Sheesh. That's right, you are. And no funny biz while you're at it. Oh no. What happened to you? Hey, hold the fuck up. Are you the ones who busted your way in? Nah. Through them tunnels like eels mm. or something. Guilty as charged. <laughs> what you gonna do about it? Took out some of my tombs. We fucking serve together. Maybe Hansen lets you walk. But we won't. And since he is not here, who knows what's gonna happen. Your friend, easy prey. Know what it's like to lose a friend. That's true. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. I know how you feel. 
Yeah, that's probably not going to impress him. Get the fuck out of my face! <laughs> but the other option was even worse, to be honest. That would have just antagonized him even more. So let's Smart just be wise, or you quiet. can stick around, <laughs> get down on all fours, twerk it, and work it. Nah, I just want to get out Done of here. No, great. We'll be Hit out the in fucking moments. road. Yeah, unless something terrible happens on the last meters. <laughs> Done showing off. Great. Hit the fucking road. <laughs> yeah, these guys are pissed that I killed Bargus guys on my way inside here. So maybe I should watch my back in the future, whenever I'm near Bargus people. It's your lucky day, you two-faced shits. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Follow me. Right. How things go, V? Got everything. All set. Yeah, better for me than for you, I suppose. You got thorough scans of the runners. Both of them. Yourself. I said, we got everything. Well, well. And then you, uh, excused yourself. Stepped away. Disappeared? Yes. Um, we were worried about you. For good reason, apparently. How about you spill where you been? What happened? Had us worried. The op was underway. I didn't want to jeopardize it, so when confronted, I behaved. Hmm. They cornered me, got me before we could meet up. Forget the rest. All right. How'd it go at the table? Anything to worry about? Well, I had an interesting conversation with Hansen. Hansen showed up. We chatted. Threats were made, actually. Said if Myers doesn't let up, world will learn about Songbird, about Pierce and the Blackwall. He clearly knows what Somi means to the president. Personal WMD, you mean? Yeah, Hansen knows all. Need to get her the fuck out, Reed. Really? I was afraid of this. Okay. P, Alex and I have work. We need to analyze the data from Songbird. Might take a day or two. Prem, open comms line then? Sure. We'll work out a game plan. Get back to you ASAP. Oh, and V, huh? bang up work. All right, well, uh... Thank you. And there we go. Job complete. Wait a day for a call from Reed. Okay. Well, I mean, this is perfect timing. Because this is a good moment to end the episode. And since I have to wait um, for a while, I may actually want to do some other stuff first. And yeah, let's read the messages here. V, you okay? Disappeared pretty suddenly. Hope you're safely out of the sapphire. Appreciate the concern. We're still in one piece. Ghosted without any problems. <laughs> I mean, I did. Reed wasn't quite as lucky. Looked dicey for a sec, but we're fine all according to plan. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of dicey on our way out. Nice work, even if Hansen suspects something, he won't be able to put all the pieces together, at least not yet. Uh, well, I think he put a lot together already. I think he only spared us because of Songbird. I don't know. Gotta admit, once Hansen got his cl claws into me, I thought that was it, game over. But suddenly you show up, you again. The right place, the perfect time. This isn't over V, not anymore. And it looks like we're fighting for the same thing. <laughs> When you vanished, still not sure that wasn't on purpose. Yeah, I don't know. Was it? You really think it was my intention to be Hansen's prisoner? Please, I know better ways to complicate my life. Fortunately for us both, I never make the same mistake twice. But seriously, remember we're in this together now and stay in touch. Okay. Okay, I mean, she's basically denying the suspicions that we have but okay um i guess this is a good time to end the episode and yeah we have some 
stuff that we can do in the meantime. We got this one. Um, this is something that I haven't really looked into yet. <laughs> and I can meet up with Judy. So maybe I will, you know, take a look at these uh, two before we continue with the main mission. But for now, let's call it a day. As always, thank you for watching and see you again next time.